Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker, where I clearly had the intention of doing something, but can't remember what. Were we going into this house? Let's go into this house, then. Oh, team. Hello. Calica's Poems. This town in a foreign land has a narrow, twisting street, with lanterns hanging on the left and right as I walk the tw as I walk the twisting path between. And the lights shine behind my back. I leave one shadow on the wall and leave another on the road. Since the day I settled here, every evening when the lanterns shine and the shadows dance in their light, I walk this narrow, twisting street, and you know why. Tiefling girl taps her foot, irritating the knee sword you whisper lantern. Did you see that? My sister is all three of her empty friended empty headed friends right on her tail. They used to follow her around in Kadira. They know both of us very well. Couldn't we just send them away somewhere? Oh, by the way. Hello! Don't you think the disc of the eclipse reacted strangely? Maybe. My sister and I have tried to figure out what happened, but failed. We need a real specialist in this sort of magic. A specialist like I can't even imagine. I can definitely say that the disc hasn't been destroyed. It seems to become a part of my connection with my sister, helping us to move between the material plane and our demi-plane. We'll continue to explore this new ability. Maybe we'll learn something at, at some point. Yeah, so why, why do you stay after we found the relic? A fair point, you see, there's an important detail about how I died and returned to life. I was killed by a repulsive creature called a Soul Eater. Apparently, you shouldn't tell them your name. That's what the... That's what the loading screen is telling me, which worries me that we're going to actually meet them. After a spellcaster aims it at his victim, the wretch will chase it tirelessly and endlessly. But when I was returned to life, the Soul Eater lost its prey. But it's still chasing me and might show up at any time. It would be much easier for me if I could meet it here, surrounded by experienced monster hunters, monster hunters, ready to protect a poor fugitive from danger. Uh, the lives of my companion... I won't let anyone hurt you. We'll deal with the beast if it shows up. Uh, yes, we'll deal with the beast if it shows up. I like your confidence. I have a penchant for the strong and confident. Uh, I'd like to know more about you. Of course, many do. Tell me, uh, do you like it in the Stolen Lands? I prefer large and bustling cities to back backwaters, but on the other hand, the chance to build up a whole state from nothing. It's so tempting. I don't like chaos, though I've learned that at times I won't be able to play by the rules. So here's my answer. With some effort and the right investments, your dominions might become something someday. Uh, how, wh how does it work, living in turns? By the power of Nethys, my sister and I cannot meet, for as soon as one of us appears in the material plane, the other one is immediately spirited away to our demi-plane. There we sleep until it's time to switch back. The demi-plane, by the way, is full of elemental energy, which is wonderful res for restoring our strength. It's a pity this ability came after we'd paid such a heavy price. I would have avoided my painful death, and I long to see my sister again, and singe her hair to show my gratitude for everything. Despite her vitriol, Canara sighs with sorrow and seeming tenderness. The demiplane nourishes us and keeps us from all sorts of trouble, but the price? It's hard to live and make plans when at any moment you can be pulled from reality, only return to return after a few days or weeks. I'm glad that, thanks to you, we have now at least learned to control the process a little. Tell me about your sister. Uh, we were at our eighth summer when Calica, the spring of my solace, got angry at me and chucked a bunch of desert thistles into my hair. I had to cut them out afterwards. That's what you have to suffer if life rewards you with a sibling. Though I should say, that very evening I burned her favourite dress. With great trouble comes great satisfaction. Uh, what happened at the mansion? You know the fun part of our story? When Nethys returned me to life, the poor hungry soul eater started following my trail again. He cannot discover me so long as I live disguised as Kaesi, but he keeps trying. That's one reason why my sister and I never stay in one place for long. We moved north, living here and there until we reached Restov. Lady Jamandi's offer was simply too tempting. Bring some pathetic bandits to heal and receive a barony in return? Of course, Kaesi could never be a baroness, but the adventure itself was an intriguing opportunity. Besides, I was in desperate need of a distraction, so I showed up at the reception made some valuable connections. Canara looks, locks her eyes with you. I witnessed the attack of the unlucky assassins, but then, unfortunately, missed out on all the fun. The moment I ran through fire at the mansion, I was carried away to the demiplane, and Calica came forth to deal with the consequences. You know the rest. 
Okay, thank you. Um. Uh, so long. Hope is always open to you, and please do me a favor. Send the sweet teeth off on some errands so they will stop bothering you. We need to talk to Sweet Teeth and try to find a way to spare Casey of their troublesome presence. Well, we do have these to work with. I mean, I'm not sure. Uh, a few things. We need to grow. We need to get someone new. Increase some ranks. We've got some time to wait. Get the three volumes. And then we've got these to do deal with. Uh, I will leave, and we will talk to Sweet te Teeth. I can't believe it. Look who it is. If it isn't the Baron himself, I thought gentle folks didn't hang around with their subjects home. Homes. Elkie slaps the young teeth. Like, Forgive him, your grace. He's got a big mouth. So big that when he comes to visit someone, his tongue enters first and talks rubbish for a few minutes before the rest of his head shows up. These two are trying to say that your visit is a great honor for us. How can we help? Don't say that we can't. There are many things we can do. Just try us. Uh, how did you find out about the disc? Oh, and that's some story. We were walking at night in complete darkness through an empty, moonlit barren, and we got lost and stumbled into a scary thicket. But then we saw light ahead, a witch's house. As soon as we went inside, she said we were dummies who couldn't watch our tongues and threw us out. And the disc of the eclipse, we found out about that by accident. The peddler talked to us on the road and just gave us an ancient chronicle where we read about it. We accidentally used the chronicle for kindling, but we remembered everything we read really well. Okay, I'm not sure I thought. Alright, well, let's see if you can complete a task. Give us orders, we won't let you down. Weed the Null Marches. Measure Lake Silverstep. The roads through Varnhold to Talon Peak is terribly convenient. Trying to find a better one past the Shrike Hills. Ooh, yeah, the picket fence at Oleg's trading post is tilted. Go and fix it. These ones seem dangerous, this one seems less so. Tilted? We'll fix it up and paint it in no time. Grabbing the travel bags, the young Tieflings run away. Because I think the route to Varnhold was the one that we uh, ended up with. Uh, is the one where we died a couple of times. Um, the evening girl looks at you from under her lashes, curling a strand of her hair. Of course you recognize me, but I'm Kanera. Uh, oh, never mind. Do I not got a thing for that? Okay. So I've got to wait for that. Wait until they're fixed, and then come up with more errands. Okay, so it's not a con so it's not a quest I can do now. Um, do I have any levels or anything for you guys? Or did I do that last time? I think yeah, I think I did it last time. Um, okay. Well, we'll talk to Calica. With that stiff, very well. I'll get it. So long. The tiefling girl greets you warmly, but seems a little distracted. I'm glad to see you at my half. Have you seen the sweet teeth? I can't get them out of the house. I'm so scared they'll suspect something and reveal our secret. Canna is mine. I wish I could keep them busy somewhere out of town. But anyway, welcome. Um. Yeah, let's see what she says about the the disc of the eclipse and remaining. So the disc of the eclipse. Ancient forces can be mysterious. I thought we need to spend a lot of time studying the properties of the disc before we learned how to use it. But it just worked as soon as we touched it. If I understand its action correctly, it attunes itself to the connection between the material plane and our demi-plane. Now we can move between them at will, and the rest is handled by our strange inner connection. I step into the demi-plane, and Nethys' power transports Canara from there to the material plane. Okay. Why did you decide to remain? I like living here. For the first time since fleeing Kadira, I feel there's a place in the world I can call home. And besides, Kalika frowns. I probably should have brought this up myself, but I couldn't bring it myself to do it. I am very, very worried about the Forefather, the devil my sister made a contract with long ago in Kadira. Kanera thinks he's no longer a threat to us since her death annulled the contract, but I don't believe such a creature can ever leave us in peace. Um, I'd like there to be someone beside me who I can rely on in case he shows up again. You can rely on me. We'll find a way to deal with it. If things get bad, we'll have to flee again, or we'll put you and your people at great risk. But I believe it's here that we will find the strength to face Hell's claims on us. Okay, so there, that's different. Okay, so let's see if I can challenge um, Kanara, as you wish. Now, thanks to you, we can at least switch when we want to. 
No. Questions? No. Uh, sister. Switch back. Past. How did you end up at Jamandi's mansion? Oh, I cannot answer that question in much detail. The Kayesu you met at the reception and rest of was Kanara. At the time, I'd been sleeping in our demiplane for over a month. I didn't even know my sister wanted to join the expedition that Lady Jamandi was sending. And then suddenly I was thrown out into, into reality, in the middle of a burning mansion with assassins dashing about and the sword lord fighting monsters in the Grand Hall. Kanara and I usually keep a diary to tell each other in detail what happened during the day, but I didn't exactly have time to read it, and I doubt she had time to write anything during the attack. I ran into the hall, tried to help Jamandi, and the new and her companions appeared. We held back the attack, and you and Tartuccio began accusing each other of spying. Meanwhile, I still couldn't understand what was happening or where I was. I had to pretend to distrust both sides of your argument, or I might have given myself way too easily. And I had to protect our secret. It was one of the conditions of our agreement with Nethys. Yeah, you had me racking my brains. A girl shows up acting like she wants to be my friend, and the next moment turns her nose up like she's seeing me for the first time. Uh, then you can begin to imagine what it's like for us. People approach me all the time and start talking like they're my friends, and I just stand there trying to remember lines from the diary. Is it the gnome with blue hair, a new admirer who has twice given me flowers, or the gnome banker who wishes to discuss investments in the tours of Le uh, Lebanese mines? All right, well, uh, I have to go. Good luck to you and everything you do. We will explore a little bit. Um... Um, so, I think, these are both in the Gnarl Marches, I think, yeah. The troll there is looking at some in the Gnarl Marches. Dwarven rooms for Harem. Don't be able to road through these lands, okay. Okay, I can't go any further around, yep. So we'll head out. We might grab Harem. Um, in our team. Right, right. Can I switch you guys? Oh, no. I kind of... Mm. I kind of want to bring... Can you see along? Can I run Calica? Oh, uh, ooh. I have to be in. They're my melee people, so that'll be good. I want to bring Harem because. Oh, I'll just swap people swap us around later when we start heading off. Um, she does fire. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll leave Lindsay. In case we end up fighting trolls, having someone who can who can use fire will be very good. Um, I'll have a look around and see where these dwarf ruins are. Because um, that will be good. Because then we're doing companion stuff. Um, but we do want to be heading to the Gnarl Marches. I don't know if there's a timer on these. Like, that's the thing. Um, because there weren't timers on the, what was it, uh, Thorn Ford, but that was different because we went to Tartuccio first. All right, the Null Marches are this way. The Ruined Watchtower. No. Like the Shadow Death, the current is extremely powerful here. We don't know whether. That... Oh, that's. I think that's the way we want to go for Harem. Switch ourselves around. So. Can I go this way and avoid him? Okay, this is. Slightly surprising, but alright. Let's see if this is the right thing. I want. I. <laughs> I know, I know before I left, I was like, oh, you know what, we'll do this thing. We'll try and go to the Gnarl Marches to get these things done. And I've already gotten confused. Is this the right place for him?
I don't know. The path is clear. Okay, mature leopard. Right, just go there and switch to the crossbow, because... Okay. Maybe this is the wrong place. A magic short bow. Right, I don't think this is the right place then. Right, well we'll head into the Gnarl Marches and maybe something will show up. Tread lightly. Unless that's just area exit. There's something that must be careful. Yeah, there's some loot down here apparently. I mean it might just be Oh, no. More fragments of a necklace. Very good. Okay, so... Huh. I thought that was the place, because... Right, let's have a look at the journal. Figure out what it says. Uh, built a road through these lands that was long since grasped over. Harim thinks, oh, other ruins of his people might remain here. So I need to find them, wherever they are. Right. So, if we want to go into the Gnarl Marches, I think we have to go to the Ford here, don't we? There might be another way there, but let's just go there. Oh, hello. Something happened. In the kingdom. Uh, what? A level up. Alright. Oh, I can't do anything there. Wait, well, what? Your barony will soon fall. To avoid that, you have to advance the main plot and complete the following quest Troll Trouble. That would have been nice to know. Nine days. Okay, so we need to check on that one then. <laughs> uh. Uh, so we need to find out about them somewhere in the Gnarl Marches. Yeah, okay, so we're heading to the Gnarl Marches anyway. I need to catch my breath. Let's rest before we actually get there, though. Oh, of course, um, I need to swap. Let's put Amiri there. You can cook. Why not? A bit of a moving around because we're, not we're be bringing Harem. By how quietly I keep to my thoughts. Come to me and I will discuss with you the frailty of life, the whisper of the night, the great God. Quietly keep your thoughts. You mean how you act like a coffin stuffer? No thanks. <laughs> okay, it took us nearly a full day. Well, three quarters of a day-ish. Not great. 